my channel. You may be asking, Ella, why are you sitting on the floor? Well, it's because, number one, am I not allowed to sit on the floor? And number two, I'm going to be showing you my old graphics projects as you can probably see where I started already. So if you're new, hello, I'm Ella. If you could hit that subscribe button, that'd be brilliant. Your girl needs all the support she can get because she's 16 year old and does nothing with her life and this is her only hobby, so. Anyway, yeah, hit that subscribe button, turn on that post notification, also hit that like button if you're excited to see this video, and also, if you're a fellow art student, take your GCSEs right now. So, I got my graphics books back today. It is obviously November, so I haven't seen these projects since, gosh, like, end of March, maybe beginning of April? Yeah, it's been a little while. Like, I have three big books, I'm gonna show you all three, it might take a little while. But I'm gonna start with my like oldest one, which I started at the start of year 10, and I did for, I think, about eight months. So I started in September and maybe finished it in March, April time. As you can see, it's really flipping old because this is all like coming off. But um, yeah, this is my first project. So I haven't seen these in seven months, and I'm, to be honest, I've forget, forgotten. If you're wondering what I got for my graphics grade, I originally got a four, but then we realized that the examiners marked them wrong because they suck, so I actually got a five. Not the best in the world, however, it's better than a four. So, right, let's do this. Okay, I've adjusted the camera, but just so you can see a bit better. So this basically says what I'm doing. Obviously, as I said, I'm doing a poster for Tomorrowland, and this is just my initial ideas with some, like, Page. So I actually did this one here um, when I was in year nine, um, and there's another one that I did in year nine actually. Um, I'm trying to like balance this on my leg. This one is this one copied, so it's not even that complex. But yeah, I did that. Um, lots of colour. David Carson, we love, we stand. These are just sunglasses with like words in them. Yeah, you get just. Uh, this is my second one. This is probably one of my favourite pages actually because it's like I did these out of ink and I like folded them in half so they look like bugs and stuff. It's quite cool. And I did loads of splash on the paint and stuff based off of this. And yep, that's that one. Ugh. This is the one that I was talking about that I did um, actually before uh, year 10. So it was this one I did. So this is a film set here. Uh, and like a camera thing that's going into a lion and I just redid it I basically just redid it myself on Photoshop and I made this so that's the artist one and this is my one and then this is also my one not as good and then I made this one as well oh if I sit back again yep I made this one as well basically just the same as based off of this one so it's just a tree going from his mind yeah this is like his mind yeah you get the gist one yeah um, this is one of my favourite pages again, it's sort of Miss Milton, Milton Glacier, oh my god people are going to kill me if I got that wrong, but uh, this is like loads of malware wrappers, I wasn't actually like planning on doing this but I found them like all in my school bag because I was obsessed with school sweets, still am obsessed with sweets, but yeah this is, um, it actually still smells of malware, <laughs> there's that one and there's also these two as well, this is where my ideas pages begin, if you know what that is, you know what that is. It's just me starting to develop my final piece. Um, just a mood board and stuff, and then my ideas. I don't want to talk about that one, um, but yeah, these ones. There's a guy, there's a girl. The guy looks like a girl. She looks like Angelina Jolie. We're not going into it. This is like a head with a headband. This is a girl with red hair. And once again, I'm not showing you this one because it's disgusting. Age. TPs. That's the, what was an idea. Because obviously it was a festival, and TPs are at festivals. So yeah. Obviously I've got these TVs here, just all different like variations of them, like that. And as I said, like this page here, with all these patterns, and there's like a Christmas tree one, which I was chuffed with, and this is the Lion Day one. Oh, this is bring up memories, this is. This is the fireworks. So I have just these ones, really simple. And that's, I, I don't know what building that is. It really looks like the Empire State Building, but yeah. And this is an actual leaf, like it's an actual leaf like stuck down in like a word book but it's all dried now so it doesn't really look like a leaf anymore and there's this one which is what is this this is still fireworks so yeah i basically just developed a bit more and once again ink i used ink a lot and then i used my um what are they called pro markers with this 
my card go off as well? And this is just on Photoshop. This is like one of my favourite pages. This is when I started to figure out my artist self and my capability to actually do well. So this is a dragon. This is where my sort of idea arose from my final piece. So that is just a drawing of a dragon if I came up close. It's really detailed actually, but kind of I love this so much. And then I also did a phoenix, which oh, I love so much. I love this so much. Yeah. Probably will never ever be able to draw anything like that ever again. So yeah, I love that one. And then there's this page. I like this page as well. This is Molly. <laughs> And then we've got a unicorn and rainbows. Obviously, I didn't draw that because I'm not that talented. Then I've got these mushrooms that are like inside out. So I made Molly into an angel and a butterfly based off of this one here. I, I don't want to talk about that. Don't even get me started on that one. This is my time. <sighs> these are a bit bad. Like, this is just the words like time, time, time. And these are really cut up poorly. This is probably lost me marks, to be honest. Because what the examiners look for is precision, and this isn't precise. Like, it probably looks like it on camera, but there's like loads of jagged edges, and it just wasn't very good. Neither was this really, because you can see, like, the lines aren't really bold. They're done with watercolor, like, which, yeah, brilliant. But, like, the ends are like splends. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fun. Um, the best bit I did was actually this bit here because I actually, like these are, um, once again, it's me like drawing with pencil. So I just did a really good job with those. This is my product research. So this is like previous calendars, that, um, calendars? These are previous posters and I decided to base it off of this one with this color theme. So what I actually did on Photoshop is I used the, um, the color dropper and I just selected different colors from this one here and I used all of them in my final piece because it was, I just like the colors basically. And these are my signs to develop stuff. So bring all my ideas together. Here's the candle thing. So basically what I did was I got loads of candles, just put some on there, and I melted them with a hairdryer. And this is more development, so I did this. I did more on the fireworks with these things that you stamp on that I can never remember the name of. This is, if you look closely, it's actually a person. Here, and there's like a scene within it. I don't actually know where I got that from. Um, and then I've got some more simplistic stuff here, like that and that. I literally got all my ideas off of Pinterest and just dropped for ideas. And this is where I start to look at poster ideas. So I've got this one here. So this is my first ever thing that I did. I've got the Tomorrowland banner here. So I've got this and so I've got the Tomorrowland banner here, and then I've got the whole dragon going around. And then this is the Tomorrowland logo, so I did that as well. And then this was like a second option that I could have done. And then here, if I open these the right way, I just printed out photos of like different ways they could be, if you know what I mean. This is me doing my typography, thinking about what title it's gonna be. This is where I start to figure out how it's going to be set up so I put all the banners in different places with uh, obviously I obviously um, I drew this out so this one this dragon is actually real this one and then I photocopied it into smaller versions and I just put the banner in different places here is my final piece as I said I used all the colours from that previous poster because I felt like the colour scheme went really well with what I was doing oh gosh so yeah, this is it. Oh, I've got two of them here, there's a bigger one. Um, I love this so much, like this is my favourite final piece out of all the ones that I did. I just, as a year 10 I just had so much like brain power, don't know how. Um, yeah, so this is it. Um, yeah, swirl's done here, it says Belgium 2018, because that was the um, next year, like uh, the next year's, um, oh, what am I talking about? The next year's festival. As I said, color scheme, great. Um, then I've got this banner that I made myself. I didn't get it off of like any photocopies or anything. And then I've got my screenshots here because you need to use screenshots for evidence. Because you never know. You could have just got it off the internet, so. Oh my god, that was so long and my arms hurt now. Jesus Christ. So the next one that I did was completely my choice. I could have done whatever I liked with whatever theme, whatever final piece I liked and I decided to do pop art because I really liked, I've done it since I like started art 
in year seven. But I've always like I've done painting and stuff like that in the past, and I've really enjoyed doing it, especially with the with the, like the loads of dots. So I'm going to show you this project. So what I ended up doing for my final piece was a pop-up calendar, and I did four months for it. Did I do four? Um, three or four? I can't remember. We'll find out. But um, yeah, this way I did it this way this time. So yeah, this is my first page. Once again, we have the mind map and then my evaluation. Just same way I did. Then we have who is this? Mr. Brainwash. Oh, I liked this guy. So this was his version, this one, and I recreated it here and put on different backgrounds. And then he made this here, it says Hollywood, and I put a London one, and this is supposed to be the Tower Bridge, and there's loads of love hearts in the back. So that's fun. This is Roy Lichtenstein. This is the most, probably the most famous, like, pop art artist, with all, like, the little dots and stuff. So, like, here you've got like, all the little dots, and I didn't put dots on this one because it was too much effort, so I left that one. But, um, yeah, there's that one. This is me. And you know you can, on Photoshop, you can like make, if you select something, you can make it like a weird colour. I basically did this for this. So this is me. James Gill. So this is James Gill's work down here. You may recognise it. That. And then I basically just went on to Photoshop and I just made all the photos just a little bit different. So that's what I had to do for that one. That was really fucking easy. <sighs> And, oh wow, we're on to ideas already. I forgot this one's quite shorter, so this one only took me like, um, called like four or five months. So yeah, it wasn't as long as my first one. Right, this is my idea one. People, this is my favourite page by far. And I will tell you why. This one here and this one here, you will never guess I did both of them when I was in year eight. I'm not even joking you just for the laughs and I was like hey this is really good and I just kept them because I really liked them and I ended up putting them in my GCSE sketchbook I would have never thought that two years ago and then I did this one actually at the time of doing the project and this is just like a um, oily paint thing honestly how would you do that with your own I still don't understand I did two my landscapes so obviously this is what's it called the internal and then this is the Eiffel Tower, the loads of dots in the background, based off of one of my artists, I can't remember. Then there's this one, typography. So as I, like, I knew by now that I was going to do um, months, so I was thinking, hey, how could I set out, like, the, the words of the month? And for November, I did that. I did, like, a graffiti thing. And then I did that for June, I did that for August. Easy peasy, that was easy. Oh, I remember this. Oh, wow, I forgot I did this. Okay, this is my friend Esme. And I basically just, um, wow, this is mad. I basically just, like, drew around her on, like, a different, um, layer. Deleted the photo behind and I filled in this, all with different colours. Like, she doesn't have green hair. She didn't have, like, a yellow, um, coat. Then I put all these dots in the background, obviously, because the pop art, they like dots. And then this one, this is my friend Kaya's eyes. You know who Kaya is, you've seen Kaya a few times. Uh, obviously, I've got the screenshots of that one. Um, yep, that's Kaya's eyes. More of Kaya's eyes, and this it says Happy Halloween. And then October, once again. More screenshots, screenshots everywhere. There's another screenshot down there. Keep my eyes closed, what is it? Oh, that's fucking boring. This took me so long. I made my own flipping alphabet, okay? This is all my alphabet. I made my own um, alphabet so that I could use. Ooh, yeah, and these were... These were the drafts of... Um, they're all the letters that I used on the thing, um, on the alphabet before but I made sure all the outlines were the same thickness and I made sure they were all the same height and I just made them nice so those were the months I was going to do because I knew they were quite all quite different and I could do different things with them and then I redid those two because I thought hey why the heck not so these again Kaya's eyes I just did the same thing that I did on Photoshop and my James Gill thing just made them different colours and then this is a photo shoot that I did so these are the original photos actually 
So you know what I said I did that thing with my friend Esme, that's that photo. These are all Kaya's eyes and these um this is my friend Victoria. I used that one for my final piece and that one and one of these. So this is two of my final pieces. You have the parrot that I saw on holiday and you saw this is Victoria once again, my friend. And this is like all these little dots that I put on the side of her face because quite a lot of artists use that, like Rory Lichtenstein use that. So those are two of my final pieces. And, oh wait, no, it's this one that's the final piece. Oh no, both of them are. I was really impressed with myself with this. Okay, so on Photoshop you can use a tool that like creates paint splatters and I used this for the whole of the background. I thought it looked so cool. I used like loads of different colours. Once again, I just drew over Victoria and I just filled in all the colours myself. So she's got the sunglasses and I made them have like little glimmers in the corners because I love that. Oh my god. My arm really hurts. Okay, right, so I found a thing online that me let me um that let me like put all my photos, all my final pieces into an actual calendar. I didn't actually buy the calendar because this is like how expensive I didn't have money back then. Um, but I like got the screenshots online and this is what they looked like. Okay, so these are basically the mini versions. You've seen both of these before. This one, it was originally by itself, but I put pumpkins in the background and then obviously that one. And this one was Kai's eyes, but she's wrapped in a scarf. It's not really clear. I don't know why I didn't make it clear. And right, these are the final drafts. So, this one was for July. So I changed one of the months apparently. Don't ask me why, I didn't even realise that I did this until now. I changed this. So these are all leaves, and once again, it's like a tool on Photoshop that you can use. And I added like little roses that I drew myself. There was like loads of them, oh my god. Um, next page. Oh. Hello. These two, once again, you've seen these before. Actually, I can... There's that one. So I printed out all four of them on photo paper. You'll probably get the chance to do that if you're a graphics student, because this is graphics and not art. So there's this one. And once again, the eyes that I drew and then the scarf. And then we've got October with all the pumpkins in the background. Made it all orange. April, all being the parrot, being the summer. And then I got July with all the flowers. But I use this tool so much, so this is the paint splatter tool. It's all in the background of them. And I just like. Yeah, and I just found this. That is the end of my project too. And obviously I have an evaluation that I still don't want to talk about because it's really flipping long. Right, so my project three is really small because of my project, my, my, my exam project. What did I do for my exam project? Okay, so the year I did it, one of the things was negative spaces. I chose negative spaces because I thought, well, it's a really bored thing that I could branch off of. But first I was really flipping confused. I don't know what to do. My first piece of art that I did for this one. I love it so much. Obviously, there's a galaxy and there's a little ballerina down there. I actually love that so much. I I did that. And then I have this one with all the city and the picture frame and how cute. But what I loved about this, this is like David, David Fleck basically inspired my whole final piece because I liked how he did cities and I also like how he used outlines. So this is supposed to be a skull. I loved how he used the outlines to make, and then in the middle there's a city, and I loved how he did that, and that literally is my final piece. I'll show you in a bit. And then, I originally thought, hey, let's do a horror movie poster, and then I changed it last minute. So this is The Exorcist. Once again, this is actually Esme again. I used her again. Um, like, they're not gonna kill you if you use her twice, like. <laughs> and then Ollie Moss. Um, Jeez, did I only do two art, three art? Okay. Um, I like this page as well, just really messy, easy flowing. Uh, people and the mind, that's my first thing. Okay. This one's really freaking cool. If you've already seen it, then go you. This is just a face, this, that's the mouth, that's the nose. Yep, you get me. And um, this is just like a, once again, this is that city, and then her mind is the same here, but just the other way around. Yep, yeah, that's really freaking cool. Ooh. I made like a bigger version because why the hell not? 
Wait, that one is another little one. Oh, you like you can lift it up. Hey, that's sick. I forgot I did that. And then I use like a scarf or tool and I cut out loads of like um can you lift this one up as well? No, I can't. Yeah, and then I just cut up loads of shapes and then behind it is like a tree. So as you, yeah, like you can see it better on camera actually. This is a face. Uh, this is a person face in it. It's supposed to be a cliff. Because there's a sea down there. There's that one. Ooh, oh, I remember doing this. This took me one go and I did this in one go and I was flipping chuffed with myself. Then there's that one as well. Like look at the mouth to that. I felt so talented. I was like, there's no freaking way I'm ever gonna do that ever again. Okay, so these are pictures that I used, I'm guessing. Yep. Brilliant pictures that I used. Okay. So basically for your refinement, it doesn't really matter what you do. You can make it as messy as you like. You're just trying to plan out your final piece. And okay, so for the exam project, if you don't take art, you might not get this. But for the exam project, you do your final piece over 10 hours. That's the actual exam that you have during your, it's not during your exam week. It's like maybe a month before. But yeah, you basically have 10 hours to do a final piece. I've got it right here. It's fucking massive. So I don't know if I'm going to put it in the camera. But yeah, you basically just do that in 10 hours. And you can also do your evaluation then as well. Um, and then I did face profile as well. Again with pencil because your girl looks right in pencil. And this is inside the person's mind idea. I don't understand that. And this is where the shape of my final piece has started like to come together. So, it's really hard to see on this camera actually. So, these are all like buildings. I didn't make them very neat, but it's, they're in the shape of someone's face. And this is a road. And then there's trees in the middle to show life. So, and then the rest around it is technology, like my idea. God, this is my evaluation. Jesus, wait, is there another page? Holy, holy moly, I had to do in a bit pages, okay. Oh, this took me 10 hours. And this is it. Woo. So, as I said, it's the outline of someone's face. And there's those trees in the middle and there's like a road. It's like, it's like one of those famous bridges in a while, but I don't know where the favourite bridge is. Uh, and this is like the vines hanging from it and there's like there's a building and up here it says Techland, fun, fun, fun for all the family. And um, yeah, this is it. I'm actually really happy with this, this looks so good. I just, honestly, I underestimate my abilities. I can't even, this is like kind of good. Like, I'm probably gonna keep this and I'm gonna show my kids and be like, hey kids, once upon a time, your mum was talented. I just had like a realisation that one day my kids are gonna watch these. <laughs> Hi kids, in the future, this is fucking weird. Okay, I need, <laughs> I need to stop, okay. I'm so glad I took art because I get to keep these three sketchbooks may I add maybe for the rest of my life and I can show my kids hey kids if I can freaking do this so can you so I coped you can too thank you for watching this video I hope you like my t-shirt by the way it's got Mickey Mouse on it I really like it I got it from Primark thank you for watching this video if you want to see anything like this not that you're gonna see anything like this because now I'm really bad at art somehow my art magic has just disappeared but yeah, if you like this video, once again give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button like I said earlier in the video. And I will see you next week in this week's video, which I still don't know what's going to be unless you guys pick this one as this week's video and next week is the ASMR video. So, yes. Goodbye. <laughs>